Reigns, welcome to Cash or Trash Japanese Edition! Where we rate multiple craft kit to make sure that you don't waste your money, but I do. Joining me today is my sister Sika. Yo. If you want to watch vlogs of us in Japan, make sure you check out my vlog channel, Nerdy Jackie. I do have two channels, so make sure you check out Nerdy Jackie. That's where the vlogs be. We're going to be testing out three Japanese food kits. And what's interesting about food kits in Japan is they can either be sweet or, or savory, savory, which is really exciting because the last time I tried a food kit and I thought it was sweet, it's octopus and I hate seafood flavors. Blech. Let me know in the comment section below what foods do you absolutely hate the taste of? For me, it's fish and most seafoods, except for shrimp. I'm okay with shrimp. I like everything. I figure. Ah, figure. <laughs> the first food kit we're going to be trying out is a traditional Japanese kind of food. We have omelet rice, a fried shrimp, and uh, some, some kind of stir-fried rice chicken. I'm really, really worried about this one. Let me know if you think it's sweet or savory. Next, we have a bento box, which is very known in Japan just to be lunch boxes that most people pack. And last but not least, take a good look at it. We're going to be looking at a butt pudding. Yes, a pudding in the shape of a bum. I'm pretty excited about that one. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. And all of these kits are indeed under $3. So let's find out whether or not they are worth your cash or they go in the trash. Our first review, a traditional foods from Japan kit. One of my favorite foods in Japan has got to be tempura and omuraisu. And for those of you who don't know tempura, it's pretty much grab anything and deep fry it and it looks absolutely delicious. And it's super crunchy. It is really crunchy. And we also have omuraisu, which is pretty much fried rice covered with a very delicate velvety omelet right on top. Man, I'm salivating right now. I am so hungry. Making me hungry too. I know, I'm so hungry. <laughs> I have a feeling that this kit might potentially be savory. Again, let us know. Do you think it's sweet or savory? Make sure that you vote in the comment section below or in the card section. Time to see what we get inside. <laughs> you know how we're always complaining when kids give us a little sentence that says INCLUDES EVERYTHING YOU NEED I absolutely hate it when companies say includes everything you need but they don't. But the good thing about those Japanese kits is they genuinely do, do come include. with everything you need. You haven't done one before. Stop no. pretending. <laughs> I'm just trying to fit it. <laughs> Nobody loves me in this one. Oh, I love you now. Come here. Uh. <laughs> Here's what we get inside. These shrimp packets, french fries, omelette, mitoboru, ketchup, fried rice, peas. Really? Yeah. They don't look like peas to you? No. They look like peas to me. And we also get the mold as well as the container in which we're going to be using to pour water. We also get a little decorative plate if we want to. So as the instructions say, we're going to be separating our little measuring cup thing. That one. The first thing we have to do are the french fries. I'm really curious to know whether or not it actually smells sweet or savory. It smells like apples. It's really hard to know what it smells like because it does somewhat smell like apple. All right, let's do the doing. So to make the fries, we're going to be putting one scoop of water in the packet of the fried potato. And then to make the omelet rice, we're going to be using three little scoopies of water and mixing it all up. In the meantime, we can take our fried potato out and start cutting it up. Let's sniff the, the omelet. Does it smell mm. omelet -y? No, it smells like a light orange. Sniff test on the shrimp. Is it fishy? Probably not. At this point, it seems like the kid is going to be sweet. I don't smell much. It smells like batter. Oh yeah. Yeah, it smells like batter. Yeah, it smells like flour pretty much. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared too. So we will be adding one scoop of the water for the shrimp and we're going to be making sure that we put it inside the shrimp mold. You don't want to put it with the other stuff. Now for the fried rice. It smells like Play-Doh. Yeah. Doesn't it smell like Play-Doh? <coughs> oh, that does smell like Play-Doh. Oh, if. If. New Arabic word for today. <laughs> if is the equivalent of, of ew. ew. So to make this one, we're adding two scoops of water and then putting it into the fried rice mold. Ketchup time. Don't take it. Very methodical. <laughs> Think I was born yesterday? No. <laughs> I'm going to wave a sharp pointy thing at you and no. What does it smell like? Dual berries. And it smells like berries. And it's not like the overbearing chemically smell. Yeah, it smells like an actual fruit. Yeah. In order to make the ketchup, we're supposed to take two scoops of water and then place it on the inside of the bag, mix it all up, and then fold it and leave it aside so that it can thicken. These Japanese kits are so different compared to the American ones we did last time. Right, if you haven't seen the American food kits that we did, check them out in the comment section, in the description <laughs> box. Wow. And then the iCard section. They were too sweet smelling. Very synthetic. Yeah. When we left the craft 
bathroom and came back in, it was so nauseating, the smell. These ones are very nice so far. It smells like, oh, chocolate? Chocolate. So now we're going to be adding one scoop of water, mixing it up, and then turning them into little, little meatballs. Well, you're better than I am. So I was about to say, we make two little balls. All right, now we're supposed to scoop up the omu raisu and then put the beans inside. Now for the interesting part, we're supposed to make the batter for the shrimp and then four scoops of water on this side over here. So do we put the shrimp in the water and then in the thingy? Yes. Can I lick my fingers? No, it's a surprise. Stop it. Oh, oh there. My God. Do you hear that? It's like popping candies. Yeah, that is really cool. Can you greens hear that? It sounds like it's in the oil. Yeah. This is so mesmerizing. This these is kids, really cool. I actually like these better than the other kits that we did that are... Hang on, kits. let's put a bigger piece. You're so mesmerized right now. <laughs> I've never made food kits that were actually fun. Let's keep going. Did you just lick it? I can't taste it. And you want to dip your meatball? I want to dip my meatball. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're going to be trying, I guess, is the meatball. But let's take a quick look at the plate. It is just absolutely adorable. We have our rice. We have our omelet. We have our fries, our little shrimp, and we have our meatballs. What do you want first? <laughs> All right, you want to try meatballs first? Yeah. Mmm, the texture is weird. <laughs> the texture is definitely weird, but the flavor is kind of like a Nesquik. Yeah, and it's not overbearing the taste either because mm -hmm. the other kit we had made, everything was just so synthetic and too strong, and I, I hate that. So that's what I love about Japanese kits. For the most part, the flavors are very, very mild. Si yeah, I was gonna say subtle, but yeah, I mild is the silent. I was like, what? silent flavors. <laughs> silent flavors. <laughs> All right, now to try it with some ketchup. Oh my god, it feels like the consistency of ketchup. Mmm, that's strawberry. Mm hmm. It's like chocolate strawberry in your mouth. Mmm, mm. that's good. Yeah. Again, not too sweet. I'm really not a candy fan, but this is actually really good. All right. Let's... I'm not spitting this time. Because spitters are quitters. <laughs> French fries. Hmm. Pineapple? Yeah. Again, mild. Mm -hmm. Do you want to dip it? Yeah, sure. The texture is so weird. I can't get on with it. It's my turn to be chaotic. No, no, no. <laughs> no! Now let's try the omelette rice. And the thing with the omelette one is, is it, it looks like an omelette. And it has texture. the, yeah, it has the consistency of not overly cooked omelette. Yeah. It's like a light, very light banana flavor. Yeah, I think it is that. Mm -hmm. I like it. Next, the fried rice. Orange? Do you like bubble gum? Bubble gum orange? It's not that sweet either. And last but not least, we're going to try the shrimp. Oh, the outside hardened. Did it? Yeah. Whoa. Like batter. All right, we each get a hardened half. It smells like orange also. <laughs> it is pop candy. Very citrusy flavor. So for $3, this kit has so much playability. The flavors weren't overbearing. Yeah. It was actually pretty relaxing and fun to put together. The only con is that if you're not someone who understands the writing, it's gonna be really hard to make. You don't have to necessarily like, understand it. You were reading and doing it all, and I was just like this. <laughs> because I didn't understand what I was doing. And my Japanese is not even <laughs> that great. You could probably get by with just the pictures. You're okay. So for us, this kit is definitely worth your cash. <laughs> and now, Poppin' Cookin' Mini Bento Set. This kit is pretty much supposed to mimic bentos. If you're an anime fan, you definitely know that sometimes when senpai brings you a bento, that means they're thinking of you. We see that we have an onigiri, which is a rice ball usually stuffed with things. My favorite thing. Oh, by the way, I did do an ASMR of the uh, onigiri. I'll link to that down below. It's really old school. And then we have supposedly broccoli, fried, fried chicken, chicken uh, and a rice ball. Yeah. So this one here is in English because it was sent to me by one of you grains. It is also about three dollars. Guess what? English ah, instruction. <laughs> I can read what's happening. We start with the broccoli. I know now. <laughs> <laughs> Time to see what we get inside. <laughs> All right, so the process is pretty much the same. We're going to be separating our little measuring cup in order to put them in where they're supposed to go. For the broccoli, we just need one scoop of water. For the egg, one scoop. Same for the sausage, only one scoop. I just have to be clear, even though the instructions are in English and my sister was very happy about that, she's struggling. 
So what we're supposed to do is take two scoops of water, put it inside the container number four, make our little rice thing, and then take the black packet that is supposed to be the seaweed, and then put it in the crevices where it's the rectangle. Yeah. Press the triangle one in there, because they call it a square, right? I'm trying to read. Hold on, I'm reading. Are you with me? <laughs> Moment of truth, we're going to make the panda face by pressing this ball of rice onto the panda face. Okay, push it how far or how hard? And... Oh, that's so cute! That actually worked out nicely. Yeah, that's really adorable. Now we're gonna make his ears. Sweet. We just said to put it in there and roll it around. But you have to leave some space so that you could stick it on the head. There we go. It is adorable. And now the onigiri. You don't have to push it too hard. I dropped it in. That's what she said. No. Oh, no, I messed up. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not great, but it's okay. Look, I'm adding some. We're good. And the fried chicken is also just one scoop of water and mixing it up and then manually shaping it. For the spaghetti, it's... Get this. Yeah, I used to say spaghetti when Pizgetti. I was a kid. I was like, Mom, I'm gonna have spaghetti. And I used to say effluent. <laughs> I was already quirky when I was little. English number one started pretty since, early. Yeah, <laughs> since day one. We're going to be doing the spaghetti, which seems really interesting because we're going to be mixing it in the container again, but then we're going to be scooping it into this thing. And then cut a little corner off and make the spaghetti. It's kind of like a piping tip. Pretty much. That's pretty much That's it. That's what I understood from it. Cool, we're on the same page for once. <laughs> so rare. It's like, no, we go left. No, no let's go right. right. <laughs> the consistency is quite gooey. Kind of not fun having to give us a fork. It's a little harder to, to pick it up <laughs> with a fork. Let's go ahead and squeeze the spaghetti. It looks like poo. It's linguine. No, it's too thick to be linguine. Fettuccine. <laughs> Fettuccine. Yeah, I guess it's fettuccine now. So as you can see, it is absolutely adorable. It has so many different colors. It looks like if it weren't candy, a meal that I would enjoy it, but it, it has just one vegetable. It's one of the vegetables I like the least. Really? And cauliflower. I love cauliflower. It's so good. All right, what do you want to try first? The fried chicken. Orange? Orange? Yeah. All right, I want to do broccoli next. Let's divide that in half. Oh, that is really gummy. Yeah, I know. It felt really slimy when I was unmolding it. It's like a faint, maybe apple. Grape? Some kind of fruit. And then egg. Okay. Okay. I think it's lemony, eh? I think so. I love I lemon. I hate lemon. Okay, so take a little piece then. 100% lemon. I like lemon. I don't. Nasty. Really? It tastes like laxatives. <laughs> well, I haven't taken enough laxatives to know. Colonoscopies, yo. <laughs> Ready? Sausage? Sausage time. Sausage. My favorite thing. What does it smell like? Strawberry? Stra yeah. Like stale strawberry. And this one is like a really soft jello. Yeah, I hate jello. <laughs> Onigiri, you wanna take the panda? Sure. So this is the rice one and it smelled like bubblegum, so we didn't really sniff it. Whoa, what are you, <laughs> what are you doing to the boo? Aww. The only thing I don't like about this is that the black actually comes off on your fingers and it, it's not really washable. It's stained my finger. Ready? Mmm. This is nice. Yeah, it's like a orangey bubblegum again. I don't know why they like orangey bubblegum, but that's it's like that. And you get like a second texture on the onigiri itself. Me like spaghetti? Mm-hmm. It's like a paste. It didn't harden. It smells like soap. It tastes like soap. I don't like it. <laughs> and the texture is mushy. I know. <laughs> but the whole kit, the textures are super weird in my opinion. Yeah, for this this kit in comparison to, to the, the last first one, one. Yeah, it's a lot more weird pasty feeling in the mouth. But again, for $3, <laughs> it kept us busy. The instructions were pretty clear. And for $3, it definitely does way better than any of the other kits that we've paid way more for. So in our opinion, this, even though it's only $3, it's definitely worth your cash. And last but not least, butt pudding, which incidentally also sounds like someone's nighttime name. And traumatize your sister. <laughs> this one is actually really popular in Japan. It was requested by my friend and asked me to send it to her from Tokyo to the suburbs. So she really wanted to try butt pudding. That sounds disgusting. It's <laughs> my stomach is turning every time you say butt pudding. I'm like, I'm really when curious. When you say butt pudding, it just sounds like diarrhea. Does it not? Yeah, now my stomach's turning. <laughs> you ruin everything! So I'm really curious to see how long this is going to take because usually the other stuff seems to jellify pretty quickly. They're not helping themselves. They made the accessories brown. Like Whoa! Like it's crap. So I'm really curious to see how long this is going to take. Hopefully not too long because I want to eat butt pudding with my <laughs> sister. <laughs> Alright, let's see what we get. We get two different packets. One for the pudding and the other one for the chocolate garnish. You mean poop? Grow up already. No. And then we get molds. One in this piggy kind of look. Another one in the main character's face. And the other one in the one that we've been wanting. Look at that butt. It's so thick. 
so plump. Mm, mm, mm. And then we get smaller molds for the uh, garnishes. Oh, look at that face. I want a face on my butt. That's weird. So the instructions were pretty straightforward. We have to take about 100 cc, which is about 100 mils of milk, put in the packet that is a little orangey, mix it up, put in the microwave for about 20 seconds. Once it's out, we can start scooping it into the butt mold, and then we should wait about two to three hours. In the meantime, we can make our chocolate jellies by mixing up one scoop of water with the chocolate packet, again, putting it in the microwave for about 20 seconds, and then popping them out. All right, so now, oh my God, we did the toothpick thing, tooth, this, toothpick thing. Wow, say that five times fast. Toothpick thing, toothpick thing, toothpick thing. <laughs> toothpick, toothpick thing? thing. Toothpick. <laughs> Smack that bum a couple of times. Let's spread those butt cheeks. <laughs> Don't squish it. Oh, oh no. <gasps> but it looks weird. All right, so as you can see, the other ones turned out okay, but the butt, I think, was a little too thick. But wait, wait, let's watch. Oh, it jiggles. Look at that jiggle. Smack that butt. <laughs> All right, so we're really curious how it's going to taste, but we also want to make sure that the jellies come out. Oh, that is cute. All right, let's try the jelly by itself. I don't taste it. Well, barely. It's like a really light coffee. Very, very, very light. Time for the pudding. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna take the butt. What are you having? Um, I don't oh, know what this no. is. Oh, your butt's all gross and Oh, it's me. melty. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, boy. I think what we were supposed to do is maybe ideally leave it overnight. That's my guess. Mm. Mm. I think this is my favorite thing because it's custard, and I love custard so much. It does taste like custard, and like with the coffee thing, it makes it almost like a creme brulee. Uh-huh. It's like an egg custard. Did you just finish everything? I love custard. It's so good. There's like nothing left. She even ate my butt. <laughs> Disgusting. I don't want to eat anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the activity itself was actually pretty straightforward. Yeah, it was more about pour and stir and put in the fridge. We did more of waiting. So even though it is $3, the flavor is pretty decent. To be honest, it's my favorite kit just because it's custard. I love custard so much. So in that case, it depends. If you just want a butt custard, then, then it's worth your cash. It's worth your cash. <laughs> if you're looking for more of an activity, the first two are definitely longer activities. Much more fun. But I guess it would be worth your skeptical cash. Worth my cash. Worth her cash. cash. For custard. Let us know in the comment section below which one of these kits seems like something you would be most interested in. I'm very curious for me. I would say the first one is the winner. I'm still stuck on the pudding. <laughs> It's always a win for me. This week's shoutouts go to Mumu, Wong Cindy, Nawal Flower Artist, and Gargonzola Boy. Love my bird. If you want a shoutout in my videos, don't forget to hashtag Nerdification Squad in the comment section below within the first five hours of a video's release, or hashtag NerdyCrafter on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook anytime with any of your creations. And by the way, I do have a Reddit. I'll link it down below as well. And if you want to reach my sister, you can find me on Instagram at NerdySister underscore Sika. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if if you want to watch a previous crafty video, check it out down here. Until then, we will see you grains in the next video.